Chris Hogan, stock market roller coaster. Mm. Some people aren't going. We no, <laughs> it's scary. Yeah, down, up, down, up, down. Today's down. It is. Uh, how should people be receiving this information? I think the first thing is we got to take a deep breath and we got to realize that's what the market is supposed to do. It's going to go up and down. Uh, and in reality, it is like a roller coaster. And we can say that, and I use that analogy a lot, but riding a roller coaster can get scary. So I think the best thing for people to do is to understand this is what it's going to do. But I want us to also realize we've been here before. If we take a look back at 9-11, we had a serious market because we had a serious situation going on. If you think back to 09, that's when WHO, the World Health Organization, also called out the last pandemic, uh, and it was swine flu. And so we've been there before. 02 and 03, we dealt with SARS. The market ended 12% low, uh, rallied, and ended up 19% higher than where it was in 03. So we've seen this movie before. I want to caution people out there from making knee-jerk reactions, pulling money out of the market, I do think it's important to talk to your investment professional. Look at how you're invested. That's why I don't promote single stocks. They're dangerous. They're volatile. But I think it's important to have that conversation, understand it's going to be okay and it's going to come back. And Karen, you said something earlier when we started and wanted me to, I just wanted to dive over and give you a hug because you said you're still buying while it's doing all this because you're getting stuff on sale. And that's someone that understands the market. And so what Karen is talking about out there is that as the price drops, as you continually to consistently invest, the price is low, you're scooping it up low, and as it comes back and grows, you're going to experience a gain. Well, I dividend invest in stocks. So for me, I'm never looking at the day-to-day price. That's right. I'm looking at how much money, because my goal is when I retire, inspired, in a couple of years, I want to be able to have my dividends pay some bills. Mm-hmm. So I, first of all, I study a bunch of stocks, check their earnings, check their dividend history over the last like s- 10 years to That's see right. how they've been doing. And then I pick to see who pays out. Some pay quarterly, some pay by mu- by uh, annual, sem- semi-annually. And then I have a couple of stocks that pay out every month. Okay. It's a lot smaller amount, but so that I can average X amount of dollars to cover if when I want to travel, if we ever get to travel again, or right. if I want to buy a new car, you know, whatever. That's right. I have my monthly thing set up with my dividends. Well, you have your streams of income. Right. And see, that that's another thing. And I want to tell everyone out there, the goal of your 401k and 403b, now hold on right there. There I go throwing out acronyms and y'all Numbers are looking at, you're on the treadmill right now rolling your eyes or driving in your car going, there he is again, throwing out them fancy terms. Let me break it down for you. What is a 401k? If we were to go to the IRS tax code all the way to section 401 item K and pull it out and read the law, you know what it says? This is what 401k is defined as. Companies can allow their employees to save for retirement. That's all a 401k is. A 403b, nonprofits can allow their employees to save for retirement. So, my friends out there listening to the Karen Hunter Show, you know what a 401k and a 403b are right now. It's a way to save for the future. But it's also a way for you to provide yourself a paycheck later. See, you're putting money in there now for it to grow, so you can pull money out later. It becomes your paycheck. So it's really important for us to invest now and have a plan and understand how our money is invested. So we've got to have these conversations, Karen, and we've got to get people to ask questions. It's okay to ask. We just have to understand.